begin by getting comfortable. You may be sitting or lie down and close your eyes or focus your gaze on one spot. Maybe you can defocus now. Start to relax your body, beginning with your feet. Allow a feeling of relaxation to fill your feet, feeling heavy, loose, and relaxed. That's right. Relax your ankles, your lower legs, and your knees. Allow the relaxation to continue. Relaxing your upper legs. Let the muscles of your legs completely let go. Feeling heavy and relaxed. That's right. Relax your hips and pelvis and all the surrounding muscles. Feel your stomach and lower back relaxing as the muscles give up their hold. Feel the relaxation in your chest, back, and sides, feeling very relaxed, very heavy. Let your hands relax all the way from your fingertips to your wrists, feel your lower arms relaxing, letting go now. Relax your elbows and upper arms, loose and heavy. Relax your shoulders. Feeling them lowering slightly, finding a comfortable, relaxed position, free from tension. That's right. Allow the muscles of your neck to relax, letting go and relax your face and head. Feel your entire body relaxing even more deeply. Becoming completely relaxed. Limp. Heavy. Comfortable now. Turn your attention inward, even more deeply inside, to find your authentic self. And with every ringing of the bell, reflect even more upon your values. What is most important to you in life? What do you value? Where does your sense of right and wrong come from?
spend the next few moments thinking about your values. What is most important? sentences, remembering situations, see these values you have been thinking of make up part of the core of who you are. If you're being true to your values, these core beliefs will drive your behavior. And it feels good to behave in ways that are consistent with your values, doesn't it? For example, if honesty is something you value, this could be reflected in your life by being truthful. If you value family, perhaps your life reflects this in the time you spend with your family. Think about how your values can be part of your day-to-day -day life. Now consider what else makes you who you are. Finding your authentic self involves learning who you truly are. Your authentic self is the real you, the person you are truly meant to be. Your authentic self is the person you are at the core, the person you can be if nothing holds you back. Imagine the person you believe yourself to be right now. And it's okay if you aren't quite sure who you are. Just picture yourself going about the things you usually do in a typical day. Imagine you are watching yourself, observing yourself going about your usual day-to-day -day activities. See yourself getting up in the morning going about your day. Imagine the things that you do in a typical day and see yourself doing these activities. Picture this person, you, standing in an empty room. Imagine watching this person. Observe. Now imagine you could strip away all the things that hold you back from your full potential. Imagine self-doubt dissolving. See it fall to pieces. Now see it being replaced with confidence and self-assurance. Picture this person before you and imagine all the things that get in the way of that success, such as circumstances, lack of resources, lack of forgiveness, illness, baggage from the past, anything that is holding this person back in any way at all. Now see these problems dissolving, disappearing, going away, up in flames. Imagine this person standing in an empty room. 
what is left? Who is this person when all those barriers are stripped away? This person is you. Imagine who you are at the core. The pure character that is left when there's nothing to get in the way of complete self-expression. You may only have a vague picture in your mind right now, and that's okay. Allow that picture to come into focus, becoming more clear, more vivid, more real. And think of your motivations, what motivates you? What drives your behavior? What catches your interest or has caught your interest in the past? What propels you to action? Think about your personality and character traits. The characteristics that are left when all barriers are removed and all fears have gone away. At your fullest potential, your simplest form with no fears, what traits do you have? Think about your energy. Are you laid back and calm? Or are you energetic? Think about your other characteristics. Are you introverted or extroverted? Quiet or talkative? Are you creative? Are you practical? What sorts of things do you appreciate? What do you admire? What do you like? Imagine something that makes you feel happy. What is it? Think of some of the things you enjoy. Things that you like to do. Think about all the characteristics of the person who is left when all barriers and fears are gone. Now, let's create a different picture. Imagine yourself as a, a young child in a happy moment. See the potential in this child. Who is this young person? What makes this child who or she is? Think about the characteristics that you share with this child. In what ways are you similar? In what ways does the current differ from this child? Think about how you have learned and grown since the time you were a small child. Picture yourself as the child. See the world through your younger self's eyes. What did you want to be when you grow up? What hopes did you have for your future self? What dreams did you have as a child? The hopes and dreams you had as a child were probably related in some way to your authentic self. Something about your dreams was connected to a part of your true self. What do these aspirations say about who you are? 
What personal characteristics of yours are you related to your childhood dream? For example, if as a child you dreamed about becoming an astronaut, you probably have some personality traits that relate to this dream, such as being adventurous, curious, analytical. Think about your own childhood dreams and see what these dreams say about who you are. Now, create one final picture in your mind. Imagine in as much detail as you can the person you want to be. Imagine your ideal self. How would this person behave? What does this person, your authentic self, value? What motivates this ideal self? What personal characteristics are present in this ideal version of you? Imagine all the details of this person you most want to be. that picture even bigger, even brighter. As this image in your mind right now of this ideal person is you. This is your authentic self. This is who you are at the core, beneath all of life getting in the way. This is you. Spend a few moments with this image of your authentic self. Observe from different angles. this image and fully become this person. Three, two, one. Become who you are. For this moment, just be. Simply be your authentic self. a sense of calm and serenity, secure in who you are, knowing who you are, for this is you, your authentic self. You can take this authentic self with you allowing this true essence of you to shine through in everyday life. Allow your values, personality, and motivations to shine through, to guide your behavior, to make up who you are. That's right. You see, you have always been this person. You always will be your authentic self. A positive, confident person. A person you like and appreciate. Underneath the challenges, 
the baggage, the demands of living life. This is the real you that will always be with you. That's right. And it's time to reawaken now to conclude this relaxation exercise. Keep the image of your authentic self with you as you go about the rest of your day. Express this true self and allow you to simply be you. Wiggle your fingers, waking up your hands and arms as you move your toes, allowing your feet and legs to wake up. Feel your muscles reawakening and your whole body filling with energy. Open your eyes and sit quietly for a moment while you reorient to your surroundings. And when you are completely awake and alert, you can return to your usual activities feeling confident and calm, in touch with your authentic self.